two lecturers at Abia State University, ABSU, Yuturu and others have been robbed and kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be headsmen along ABSU, Isuikwatu Road. Chairperson of ABSU's Academic Staff Union of University, ASU, Viyu Onkedrim, said the incident took place around 6 p.m. on Thursday, Punch reports. He identified the affected lecturers as Reverend Professor S.O. Eze of the Department of Industrial Chemistry and a Methodist minister and Don Chris a Fuliki of the Department of Mass Communication. They were said to be traveling in separate cars. According to Ikedirim, the two lecturers ran into Fulani headsmen who were robbing motorists. After the robbery, the headsmen took the two lecturers and some others away. As of now, they are yet to be seen. However, the Camry belonging to Dr. Chris Afuleke has been seen with his phone inside the vehicle, the lecturer said. Ikedrim added that the families of the lecturers confirmed and also the university management have been involved in the matter. He also said ASU national body and necessary security agencies have been contacted. What is your thought about this? I would like you to share your own reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. According to what we've heard in the news, two lecturers of Abia State University, ABSU, Yuturu and others have been robbed and kidnapped by gunmen who are suspected to be headsmen along ABSU Isukwatu Road. What is your thought about this? Looking at this present situation, we can see that it is due to the level of insecurity in Nigeria that people can no longer travel at their own, you know, leisure time. People can no longer go the way they want because nobody knows when he or she could be kidnapped. According to what has been said, these people were traveling in separate vehicles, but they both ran into the Fulani headsmen who were robbing motorists. And after the robbery, the headsmen took the two lecturers and some others away. These lecturers were identified, you know, as Reverend Prof. S.O.A.Z. of the Department of Industrial Chemistry and also a Methodist minister and also Mr. Don Chris, a Foliki of the Department of Mass Communications. These people have been kidnapped by suspected headsmen in Nigeria. What is your thought about this? We can see the level of insecurity is really calling for more attention than what the present administration or government is giving to it. We just hope that in no time all those things will become things of the past and we'll have a wonderful country and peaceful Nigeria of which we have been longing for. I'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Chukwe Buka Onorum reacted to this and said, and I'm sure those lecturers are among those clamoring for one Nigeria. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation of things? We have heard from Chukwe Ebuka who have said that these lecturers who have became victims of the headsmen surely are one of those who are clamoring for one Nigeria. Adebayo Awoyemi have also reacted and said, if you still believe in one Nigeria, you are the next to experience something like this. What is your thought about this? We have seen people saying that one Nigeria cannot continue in Nigeria because if we continue to live as one in this country, we will continue to see similar incidents happening to us. It is better we we'll go our separate ways so that we will be able to manage whatever resources we have and probably we can coexist as neighboring countries. What is your thought about this? Do you think that this one Nigeria is really in favor of the masses. According to what has been said, two lecturers were adopted by the suspected Fulani headsmen. And according to the comments we have been hearing from people, according to Adibayo said, if you still believe in one Nigeria, then you are the next to experience this. And Chukwe Bukap earlier said also that I'm sure those lecturers that were among the victims, you know, are those clamoring for one Nigeria. 
Well, let's move on and see what other people's reactions is about this. Omo Amodu have also reacted to this and said, Legitimate business are no longer striving in the country called Nigeria. The result will be bad wagon effects. What is your thought about what Amodu have said? We have heard from Amodu saying that legitimate business are not longer striving in this country called Nigeria. The result of this will be very bad. It will be a very bad wagon effect. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? According to what we've heard earlier from some of our leaders who have turned themselves to bandit sympathizers who have always been in support of criminal activities in this country and said to us that kidnappings is a business. Said people that are kidnapping are doing that to earn a living. When the government of Nigeria has failed in providing you know, legitimate work, creating infrastructures that could give more employment opportunities to our youth, when the government of Nigeria has failed in that aspect, tell me, why won't they also accept that kidnapping for ransom is also a very good business? As we can see, two lecturers have been adopted and obviously now, very soon we will hear about the ransom the bandit will be, you know, demanding for and this kidnapping has become a very lucrative business for people of which new people are even going in to invent you know invest into kidnapping they are joining kidnappers and since it is a very lucrative business and even the government of nigeria are probably in support of it so since they are the one that said it is a business in fact the government of nigeria pay more respect to kidnappers than even the right activists in this country who does that? What is your thought about this? According to Omar Modu, he said that legitimate business are no longer thriving. It is only kidnapping that is going ravaging and it is the only legitimate business that is thriving in this country. Whereas people who have correct legitimate business, people who are doing lawful businesses are no longer thriving in this country called Nigeria. Obviously, the result will be bad wagon effect. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? We can see that so many things are really happening in this country. Only when our government have woken up from their slumber to know the right thing to do at the right time, only then we can have a peaceful Nigeria because if we continue like this, obviously Nigeria will surely break up. We would like you to share your thoughts with us on this that has been said. We would like you to share your own reaction with us on this present situation. Don't forget that suspected headsmen adopt two Nigerian universities lecturers and others. And according to the news, the two lecturers at Abia State University, Oturu and others, have been robbed and kidnapped by gunmen who are suspected to be headsmen along the ABSU Isukwato Road. The two lecturers are said to have run into Fulani headsmen who were robbing terrorists. We'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this present insecurity challenges we have in Nigeria. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.